Hi all. Uh, hi friends. Today we are going to see about the uh, new concept in Databricks liquid clustering. So liquid clustering uh, which will enable uh, uh, the users to change the partition column uh, by a go. So let's say uh, we will uh, used to do a partition by a table uh, based on a column and if we want to change the partition uh, we need to uh, rewrite the table uh, by changing the partition. So that will require the rewriting of a, reading a data as an uh, data frame then you have to rewrite uh, with a new partition key. So, uh, uh, so liquid partitioning will come handy in these cases. So let's see uh, the delta lake liquid clustering it's available only in a public preview runtime version 13.3 and above the delta lake liquid clustering replaces the table partitioning and is a daughter by simply the data layout and decisions and optimization query performance so as i said earlier right the, the, which replaces the table partitioning also which enhances the optimization techniques by providing the is a daughter Liquid clustering provides a flexibility to redefine the clustering keys without rewriting the data, uh, existing data, as I said earlier. So, which provides a flexibility. This gives the great advantages of by using a liquid clustering. So, we no need to uh, recreate the table or uh, rewrite the table with the new partitioning key. By a go, we can just alter the table by providing a new partition key or we can uh, disable the partition by providing the partition key as now that we see a SQL query in below. First, where we have to use this liquid clustering uh, in delta tables. So whenever you have a table often which requires filtered by the cardinality columns, like the set of columns, right? And then this will come handy. The tables with a significant skew in a data distribution. If, let's say the partition column, right? Which has been, uh, the, uh, there are a lot of skew values involved in that uh, table. Then this will come handy. The table which grows quickly and requires a maintenance and tuning effort, then this will come handy. Tables with concurrent write requests. Let's say there is a you have an delta table and which will be written by the same table which is written by the multiple jobs and at the same time. So you will face a concurrent issue. So at the time, the cluster, liquid clustering will be handy to you. Tables with access patterns that change over a time. Let's say the business users query the tables based on different uh, var class conditions. Then this will become handy because we can have we can change the uh, clusters or partitions over a period of time uh, whenever based on the need. The partition key with too many or too few partitions. Then this will become handy. Uh, so we have seen uh, where to use the uh, liquid uh, clustering in delta tables. Now we can see how we can enable these liquid clusterings. Enable the liquid clustering when you first creating a table. So let's say how to create a uh, liquid cluster enable clustering enabled table. Let's create an uh, empty table first. Uh, create table, table name and then the what are the columns required and uh, using a delta and then cluster by in wherever we given partition by we can use a cluster by and the which column we need to use so this will create an empty uh, cluster table uh, liquid cluster table then uh, using an create table as statement CTAS query like create an external table the table name then you have to give a cluster by which column you have to do a cluster by then the location as it's an external table you have to give, provide a location to the uh, external table and a select star from the table whatever the table you want uh, you can do a select star from that so this will also an another way to create a table with a liquid partitioning then using a like statement to copy configurations so is there is an already a liquid table is available the table one is an already a liquid uh, uh, table so what we can like liquid clustering table so what we can do create a table the new table name like the existing uh, liquid cluster table so that which will get all the configurations from the existing tables liquid clustering enables a liquid partitioning you can always change it to another field or you can disable that by using a none so we can see an sql query how to do that create a table liquid table and with the, all the columns required like id value user date and cluster by which column you want to do on partition then 
to change the liquid key what we can do you can do and simply alter the table the what of the table you create a liquid table then cluster by the new field user so this will change the partition from date to the user let's say if you want to disable the part disable the partition what you can do you can just do an alter table liquid table and cluster by none so that this will disable the liquid clustering from the table uh, hope this will gives an intro about the liquid clustering in data bricks we'll see in detailed like what are the advantages and how uh, uh, we will explain in detail in the next sessions about the liquid clustering thank you Right.